Crews are working to turn on the lights and heat for thousands of Tennesseans after trees coated in thick ice buckled, taking power lines down with them. Son, I've been stuck in the house for at least a week. This storm really put us out. It's uh, it was a Nashville storm, and we're just not set up for we're just not set up for snow removal here. So it's been a a long week, but uh, I planned in advance. I had supplies prior, and. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that here in a minute, but let me just show you a little more around uh, RV camp. Things are starting to melt, which is really nice. But it was, it was just strange. It was nothing but pebbles of ice, probably two to three inches of it. And then we got snow on top of it. This is the first time I've been out here. You couldn't even get to this door. It was frozen over, which leads me to say, hey, if your lock is ever frozen, take your key as long as it doesn't have a chip, take a little lighter, and just warm it up on each side of it. Just a couple rotations, put it in your door, and it'll open easy, easy, easy peasy. Let's go inside. Hello again. Well, we're here in the van. I got it warmed up a little bit. But uh, I just want to talk about if there was ever a snowstorm, which we just had, fires, whatever, where you had no power, no water, or you had to evacuate, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to live out of your car. You're going to try to go to a hotel where it would cost you a fortune or if you could even get in. So one of the benefits of having an RV camper van is you have all the accommodations of home right here. You have your propane, number one which will run your fridge, your heater, even a shower if you need it. And cooking. You can't forget cooking. You got to have a way of cooking if you don't have power. As far as supplies, and I really recommend this if you don't have it, have extra supplies on hand. That way, if there is some emergency, you don't have power or water. You have a go-to supply, a go-to supplies, which I have in my house. I have a dedicated section where I have shelves of supplies, whether it's canned goods, water, candles, pasta, uh, some beer. Not a necessity, but it goes. And then... Uh, I do a systems check on the van and I usually do it every month. I run my generator, I check my propane if that needs to be filled, but usually I'll fill it up before winter, that's way it's on hand. A lot of people run their propane and then store their vehicles, which I mean I get it, but another beauty about having a camper van is it's ready to go in a moment notice. It's just a matter of supplies. Your water, your food, clothing, and then of course uh, shoes, boots, and uh, good old blankets, blankets and a sleeping bag, and your favorite pillow. And of course in this van, I've got my electronics so I can plug in 
to my inverter here and charge all my electronics. And then I also have a backup battery bank, which I may have showed you in other videos, which I absolutely adore. It's my reserve for power. If I need to, if my battery runs out in the coach, I'll charge it with my generator, but then I have a go-to power bank that's here in the closet that I can use for backup. And I'll use this in the RV and I'll use that power bank in my uh, caravan camper. So I always have an outlet if I need power for self-efficiency, rather depending on your home power. Because if that goes out, you're going to need auxiliary. And as far as heat, I have a furnace in here and I have, it's down here on the grill. And then I have a thermostat so I can adjust it to wherever I need it. But it does take up a lot of uh, battery power. Again, I can run the generator. I can turn on the motor and run heat that way. Or I could even use a buddy heater, which I have. And I'll store that in here as well. So I'm always prepared for something and have a backup plan in case A doesn't work out or if you run out of A, you got plan B. So I just wanted to show in this video something to think about. You know, if there's some disaster in your area that you have a game plan and what you can do as far as supplies, where to go. If you have a place to go, that's great. If you can't get to a place and you're stuck at your home or wherever you are, an RV camper van is really nice to have. But not only having that, is have it ready to go in a moment notice. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care, y'all. Bye.